Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got good stuff, starting with the benchmark of Nvidia's newest GPU, a second next-gen Xbox console called the Xbox Series S. AMD GPUs will be getting free performance, and AMD's Ryzen 4000 APUs are huge. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, if you didn't see my recent story on Nvidia's new GPU, it's called the GTX 1650 Ultra. The new part is based on the same GPU that's in the 2060 and 2070. Granted, it's heavily cut down and has the same cores and clocks as the GDDR6 GTX 1650, but it has a higher TDP, so I was a little hopeful that it could do better. Well, we now have our first benchmark on it from resident leaker Tom Apisak, and as you can see, it's a time spice score, and it got 3700. Now, according to Tom Apisak, the regular 1650 gets a 3300, but the GDDR6 1650 likely gets closer to that 3700 mark. Basically, I wouldn't expect much of a performance boost out of the 1650 Ultra, and given the higher TDP, it really seems more like a downgrade. Maybe I'm wrong and it can overclock well, but that's about the only hope I have. Ugh, it's just too much. Let's see, maybe there's a coupon. Let's see. No, that's not real. Okay. We've all been here, haven't we? Getting that component you've been waiting on, only to have the promo code field taunting you. Well, make searching for coupon codes a thing of the past with today's sponsor, Honey the free online shopping tool that finds all the promo codes and applies them for you. When you go to check out, there's a box that pops up and you just click apply coupons. That's it. Plus, you can see all the deals right from the site. And with support for over 30,000 stores and over 100,000 plus five star reviews, what are you waiting for? You're losing money by not having honey. So get it for free at joinhoney.com slash gamermeld today. And thanks to Honey for sponsoring this video. Next up for today, rumors of a second, less powerful Xbox Series X console, codenamed Lockhart, have been swirling for a while now, but we haven't really gotten much information on it. That is, until now. According to a new report from The Verge, some of their sources have told them that the new Xbox Series X developer kit comes with a special Lockhart mode. It's basically a profile of what kind of performance Microsoft wants out of this second console. According to their unnamed source, it has essentially half the usable RAM, a slightly underclocked CPU, though the writer seems to take that back on Twitter. Regardless, the biggest thing here is that the GPU is significantly decreased from 12 teraflops of computational power to 4. Outlets are reporting that the console is aimed at 1080p 60fps and 1440p at 30fps, though The Verge seems to just mention 1080p and 1440p. Still, that's a big drop in GPU performance, but hopefully it's enough to at least meet a 1080p 60 goal. Either way, the console is apparently set to be called the Xbox Series S, and is apparently set to be released alongside the Xbox Series X. With that said, The Verge apparently thinks it could be scrapped, so we may ultimately never see it. Time, as always, will tell. Next up for today, I recently did a story on NVIDIA releasing new drivers that add support for GPU scheduling in Windows 10. Why this matters is because it actually gives us some free performance. Of course, I mentioned that it hurt performance in some games, but as the feature matures, it will likely help in most cases. Either way, NVIDIA is not alone anymore as AMD just announced support in their newest beta drivers. So far, there hasn't really been any benchmarks on it, but I'm sure that will come soon. Lastly for today, we have a new benchmark that's really interesting because it could essentially fix what affects gaming on Ryzen CPUs. In a report originally published by Tech Lab on Billy Billy, they were able to test the upcoming Ryzen 7 4700GE, which is one of the low power versions of the upcoming desktop Renoir APUs. Now, really quickly, I will say that Tech Lab recently published a comparison between the 3600 XT and i3-10400. If you saw that comparison, well, it's fake. Tech Lab essentially used a 3600 CPU. Now, they claim to have hinted at this, but they basically overclocked the 3600. With that said, this new report does seem to be real, especially given the numerous trusted outlets reporting as much. Either way, let's get to it. As most of you know, the 4700GE is an 8-core 16-thread APU. As you can see, this is an engineering sample, but they were able to overclock it to 4.3 GHz. Now, things get interesting when we look at RAM. The 4700GE here was tested with DDR4 at 4333, 
What's wild here is that the Infinity fabric was able to keep up at 2166 MHz itself, which is a huge jump from third gen Ryzen CPUs, even though they're both on Zen 2. The reason that's such a big deal is because AMD uses the Infinity fabric anytime a CCX module needs to communicate with another. The faster the Infinity fabric is, the less latency occurs during said cross CCX communication. So with that in mind, you can see that AMD's 4700GE was able to get a latency as low as 47.6 nanoseconds. Of course, that may not mean much to you, but it's upwards of 30% less latency when compared to third gen desktop CPUs. At the end of the day, we know cross CCX latency is one of the main things holding Ryzen back in gaming, so this could have a decent impact on them. Then again, if this is why AMD seems to include less L3 cache in these chips, we may not see a difference. That and this is also the result of Renoir essentially being a monolithic die, but the higher infinity fabric clock is definitely a part of it. Maybe Zen 3 will allow us to up things even more. Of course, we'd need even faster memory. So while that does it for today, are you excited for AMD's next gen desktop APUs or are you ready for that next Xbox? Let me know down in the comments below and definitely make sure to check out Honey for great deals. And as always, have a great day.